I'm Brian Wool with Wrestling Inc. here live at the Energy Park Hotel with United States Champion Sheamus. How are you doing today, Sheamus? Oh, I'm doing fantastic. Uh, good, uh, good night to kip into me last night. Got a nice cold cold brew coffee to wake me up. Uh, I'm great. The day before SummerSlam, I'm pumped. You have quite a big test ahead of you with Damian Priest. Oh, Father Damo, yeah. Father Damo. Now, you've had so many different opponents in your long WWE career. What do you think of Damian Priest? I think he needs to go talk to his fashion designer or something and sort out the wardrobe. Cause, uh, you know, it's not, not the 80s anymore, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, I couldn't pull that off, even if I was a teenager. But uh, honestly, from, from Damon's perspective, this he's a super talented man. He's done a lot in a short time with WWE. Um, him and uh, him and Bunny may have even stole the show at WrestleMania. Um, that's credit to him too, been involved there in coaching Bunny. Um, but uh, as I said, he's going to come crashing down to earth because you know, let's be honest. His sparring partners for the last while has been Miz and Morrison. And I'm a different animal than Miz and Morrison. You so certainly are. You better be ready for Floyd's life. Because they're not kicking his bleeding head off. It'll be a good lesson, though, you know? It'll be a good lesson. James, the fans are highly anticipating this match because we know that you are one of the most fearsome strikers in WWE history. You know, I don't know if Damien will be able to go out and party after this match that is what he's most known for. <laughs> Maybe it is. It might have to borrow Miss wheelchair actually to go uh, to go party after this after this match. I mean, I don't think it's going to be in any condition to be honest with you. But uh, yeah, I'm excited about it, man. You know what I mean? I'm excited. I, that's what's kind of done over the last year and a half. Is I've been in there with a lot of the new talent coming up from NXT, and, and I go in there and I try and bring the best out of what I can, like bring this different side that people have never seen before. I had some some bangers with Riddle, Keith Lee, Humberto, um, you know, Biggie. Obviously, Biggie's been around a long time. Like that's basically what we've been doing. And Damo's been NXT, he's been successful there, North American champ. Um, but now he's up with the big boys, you know what I mean? He's on the main roster. And uh, he, picked, <laughs> he picked the wrong, he picked the wrong fella at the mess room. Now, do the fellas ever change their demeanor when they find out that they have to face you? <laughs> uh, I, you know, I think they do, mate. I think that they they know that they're in for in for a fight and they better bring it. And that's that's, 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 that's my whole deal, mate. I try to bring something out of, of, of my opponents that they hasn't been seen before. They know they have to fight. Ask any of them I've been in the ring with. I mean, I, I hit hard as I can, but I expect them to hit as hard back. It's not going to broke them. They know it's from Roberto about two months ago. I got smashed. I kept going, though, man. Sucked it up, kept going, uh, finished the match. And then, you know, trying to jump back in the ring as as possible. That's what I'm all about, mate. You know what I mean? I'm all about physical, I love the physicality. I love it. To me, it's just it's the best part of what, I, what we do, what I do there. And your, your feud with Drew McIntyre this past spring was fantastic. It was one of the most violent feuds that we have seen in the last couple of years. And, you know, I think that would be even be the choice of that was the plan, you know, I was hoping, uh, obviously, different, different uh, plans for WWE with Bobby and Drew, but uh, the whole idea was I just kept pushing and we had that match at fast lane. Uh, that were, you know, was hoping to be a main, just because of our story as well, of us coming together uh, in Ireland and Scotland, because we were wrestling. So, yeah, it was definitely, uh, it was definitely something we wanted to do, you know, it didn't happen. I went in there with Riddle and became United States champion, so it all worked out pretty good for me. It didn't work out so well for Drew, though, you know? And what a beautiful championship. I think this is probably one of the prettiest belts that exist right now. This is definitely, this is definitely the prettiest championship. It's also the beat the most important title in WWE. So I'm not afraid of, I'm not afraid of defending. You know, I'm not hiding around. You know, I'll only defend this in pain. I'll defend this anytime, anywhere, mate. You know what I mean? I'll walk I'll wear it with pride. I'll walk out there with it. And to me, this is the most important the most important title in WWE. Are you a little bit of a belt guy? Because you've held, you've held some of the most famous belts ever. The big gold. Yeah. You know, like, do you, are you into that? Are you, are you proud of this one? <laughs> That proud of everything that we've helped to me. Obviously, the toilet haven't got the hands on it. the continent, so the chip the case, but I'm an ultimate. First ever ultimate grass on there. I pretty much won everything else. Um, but yeah, I, I, really, I really feel like uh, I've won a lot. But I've never really concerned about the past. I'm always concerned about the present, too. The moment. But where am I at now? What am I doing right now? It's easy to sit back and go, oh, I did all this stuff and I've won all this. But for me, what keeps me hungry is the fact that. Uh, I have the mindset where I've never, never done anything, never accomplished anything. Now, on the big thing, YouTube channel, following your training videos, 
where you can uh, work out in different people's regiments where you can continue I'd like to get back that back on track, obviously, with the on the back order at the moment, um, especially in the pandemic, you know, it wasn't happening. It's normally I did them a little bit on the road, but it's something that like, I haven't completely given up on. I don't want to try and get back, get back to where I was with it. I thought those were fantastic. Thank you, Todd. I appreciate it. Uh, I loved it. I loved it. It's, it's actually the greatest thing about all that is watching the comments of people who like talk about how their lives have changed and they were like didn't know where to start training, how to start training. And I watched those videos of their favorite superstars. Uh, you know, and they follow them and watch one and they watch the other and like they work out at home. It just creates momentum and it's, you know, creates ball rolling and people get back in shape. I mean, it was really inspiring to see you take on all the training. Yes, yeah, Trying things that maybe not in your wheelhouse. None of them were in my wheelhouse. <laughs> <laughs> Crawling out in the gym by the end, to be honest. Oh, it, was, it was definitely a great learning experience for me. So I learned an awful lot as well in training. Because, you know, you train a certain way the rest of your life. It just gets a little bit more. But learning different, doing different people's workouts is super challenging. Well, thank you very much for your time. Very much looking forward to your match tomorrow. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Cheers to you.